Okay, uh, yesterday I was able to put in uh, the corner beads for the uh, shed roof. I haven't been able to do much. It's been raining uh, for two weeks straight. Uh, look at the amount of water coming out of the micro rain harvesting system. This is just like ridiculous rain we've been getting. I have not been able to stucco. I'm completely stuck. Uh, so Lewis out. This is Lewis. Uh, look how good this room came out. Already got the pump. That's where the pump's gonna be at. Uh, another thing I'm planning to do is probably either put some slat wall here um, I don't want pegboard because uh, humidity and pegboard uh, doesn't get along. So um, I seen this aluminum slat wall. If I find it, uh, most likely I'll put some of that there. Maybe put a couple of shelves there. Uh, you know, just to take advantage uh, of the space. Nothing flammable. Just you know, just some extra shelves there for space. Everything's working. I got the batteries in. Uh, the floor is done. The lights up. Uh, check this out. It's been raining, so I'm stuck. So I said, let me just try out uh, the TV. Um, I temporarily put the antenna up. So let's see. Yep. The TV works. Uh, that's completely off grid, by the way. Okay. Look how the weather is. It's been a horrible. Uh, so just to kill some time, I've been putting, you know, some paint around the the outlets. So I got the switches. Uh, also to kill some time and to do a couple of things. And to lower this volume. Check this out. This is the light for these right here. That's going to be for the table. That's going to be right here, the workbench. It's going to be a workbench right here, turning the corner. Uh, look how good that looks. The reason I got them like that, that way I don't have no glare on the TV when I'm working. Uh, but yeah, it's coming out okay. But I'm completely stuck when it comes to the stucco. I have to stucco this wall outside. I have to stucco that wall outside. Uh, I'm almost done with the stucco. I still haven't been able to stucco the ceiling. Uh, that has me a bit, you know, upset because the, it's, when it's raining and it's humid, there's no way to do this without the mix just falling down on you. Uh, so let's see what happens. Okay. I'm going to put the shed to make a little bit of money. I'm going to turn this on. Grab this extension cord. Let's plug this in here. And I'm going to take and I'm going to install this eight foot ground bar with the shed solar i already got my ground bar installation on my chip hammer uh so let's get started
the chip hammer. Uh, when I take my finger off the throttle or the switch, and then I try to start again, it stalls a bit. But the whole thing was installed with the shed solar. Uh, I'm 100% sure it's because of the batteries, okay? But it got the job done. There's only five inches sticking out. I'm gonna continue now. This is Lewis, okay? This is my solar ground cable. Uh, as you can see, there's all these racks are grounded, okay? It's a mechanical ground. It's all grounded, you know, all separate racks are completely grounded with this uh, really thick cable, six aug cable. Uh, I only had, since I'm stranded, I only had one three quarter inch uh, Unistrut clamp. Uh, the rest were one inch. Uh, and since I'm stranded, what I did was uh, I cut a one inch pipe in half. I made shims. I used the one inches for now. This might stay as a permanent install. Uh, here's the mechanical ground. This is an eight foot uh, ground rod stuck in the ground. I actually did this with the, as you can see in the video, I did this actually with the shed solar. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. It stalled a little bit, but uh, look how the sky is. Okay, it was working perfectly till it just turned completely gray, but it kept on going. And this got completely done with the shed solar, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just like uh, tape it up just for the just for the hell of it, you know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So Lewis out. Okay, I got it taped up. Uh, just in case anybody wants to know why I install this way. Uh, here with the hurricanes, hurricanes are like really, really bad. So you can't have any loose connections. Uh, here I prefer like important cables. Like I consider this an important cable. The power cables of the solar coming down to the shed. I consider those very important cables. Uh, whatever I do not have to leave exposed will not be exposed to the elements. So I prefer to do this, uh, go a bit overkill, and have an install that I know is going to survive a hurricane. I know this will survive a Category 5 with its eyes closed. Uh, all my, Every install that I did with Unistrut survived Hurricane Maria. That's how come I know. So it's this is hurricane tested. So, uh, and there's the shims that I made. Just because I ran out, I'm stranded. Uh, so, loose out. I know I'm going to hear about this. There's nothing wrong with us.